<clears throat> Today we're going to interpret the unknown in multiplication and division to model and solve problems. We will begin with multiplication. Asmir buys eight boxes of candles for his dad's birthday. So a tape diagram with eight sections to represent each box of candles. And inside each box, there are nine candles. Asmir puts some candles on the cake and notices that he has 28 candles left. Let's find out how many candles Asmir uses. We will use the letter C as our unknown for the total number of candles he purchased. Our equation I will write in purple so that we can find C. This is what we're looking for, the total number of candles. So we know that he has eight boxes with nine candles in each box as C. C equals 72 candles total. Now let's find out how many candles Asmir has left no, excuse me, that has used all together. As Mir has 28 candles left, so a new tape diagram would be used. And here are his 28 candles that he has left. And all together from our first picture, he has 72. Our unknown in this case, we will change to the letter A to find out how many candles used. Our equation will look like this. 72 candles total minus the 28 that we know he has left gives us A. 44 equals a. So as Mir has used 44 candles on his dad's birthday cake. Now I'm going to change the screen to show division. The fabric store sells one meter of cloth for eight dollars. Maria buys fifty six dollars worth of cloth. She then uses three meters of cloth to make a dress. Let's find out how much cloth Maria has left over after making her dress. The first thing we need to do is find out how many meters of cloth Maria has bought all together. We will use C as our unknown in this case. So C equals total meters of cloth. We know that each meter cost eight dollars. So we will represent our first section and last section of the tape diagram. Because we are not sure how many meters she bought total. But we know she has fifty-six dollars worth of cloth. So we're finding C in this case. So we have $56 divided by $8 equals C. Maria has purchased 7 meters of cloth. We now need to find out how much she has left after making a dress using 3 meters. So we have to change our unknown and we will use the letter N in this case. So now we're finding out how many meters she has left. So our new diagram, our new unknown, excuse me, is total amount left. And our picture begins with a tape diagram, knowing that she had a total of 7 meters and used 3 meters of cloth 
for her dress, our unknown is n. Our equation will look like this, 7 meters total minus 3 meters used for the dress equals n. 4 is our unknown. Maria has 4 meters of cloth left over 